Hello. Um. You are approaching the core. Okay. When you get there, control yourself. I know failure comes naturally to you, but this time we cannot afford it. Ooh. If anything goes wrong, you will not only put me and yourself at risk, everyone at the outpost, including James, will also be in peril. The core is powerful. Do not underestimate it. Listen, dude, I'm the Dark Lord now. Alright, do you understand what I'm saying? I can't control, I can't control what happens now that I'm the Dark Lord. Wait, wait a minute. Okay, well, I'm happy to have this lamp, but I have no idea what to use it for. This is going to be a complicated one, I can tell. I have been observing you for a while now. You have the mindset for problem solving. You take in your environment, study it, and find a solution. There were times where you got stuck, yes, but you were persistent. This gives me hope that you understand the importance of light matter. Of course, of course. I may look like I know what I'm doing here in this puzzle. I don't. I'm just doing what seems to be the natural course of action. Which is just to move these things around as as made possible. This will kill me, yes. So now I have one of these over here. Uh, which means I can... I gotta get one of these, I gotta get, uh, does this help me? Maybe. Listen, although you have done well, I have not forgotten the time you failed me. It has made me think about loyalty. You see, James follows my every word without question. It's not that he can't question it. It's that he won't, because he knows that humanity is doomed without light matter. Wait, crap. I think I was onto it there. I gotta move that light back. Shit. Okay. I was close. I bungled it. I don't think this lamp needs to come around here. Okay, don't look at the thing. Okay, let me look at it. Okay. Okay, so that's there. And then we go around F. Only the one by the source of light is needed. No, I need one there. Uh, yeah, I see what you're saying. I think I need, usually you need all the tools. So I think I need one do I need them all on this side? I think I do. How will I accomplish that? Now that we're With this. To the end, remember that James will be waiting outside. He is a boulder of a man with rock chips embedded into his skin. So please, when he restrains you for your own safety, do not resist. Arthur tried, and that did not end well. 
I guess I could take the lamp. That doesn't help. The lamp being over here does absolutely nothing. That's not true. Journalist, fire created the tempered steel that surrounds you. The pillars that hold up this facility and my leg share that same steel. Light matter and I, we are one and the same. Okay, okay, I'm super close. So now I've got this lamp. No, that's not gonna, this probably isn't the answer because there's this hallway. No, that is the answer. Fuck, how do I get back across? I'm stuck. These quakes are the last rumblings of the laws of physics, desperate to hold on to its old ways. Oh. You're thinking, what if I put this one over here and leave it? Um and then get it get this one around to there but then but then yeah see i thought of... yeah but then how do i can i get the lamp now maybe you're right no if i take the light off of this if i take the light off of this i'm stranded over here again I can do that. I'm extra stranded. This doesn't reach. Don't touch anything that's red or glowing. We need your hands for pulling that lever. Oh my god. I just no, because I can't get down the hallway. I can't get down this hallway, this dark hallway. But oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if we... <laughs> Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh god, okay. With this side? No, but I can't... I can't get my tools over there. Okay, um, uh, pff, boy. Yeah, so I can go over here, and I can, uh, that oven is not a toy to be played with. I can do this. You are not challenging my assumptions of your suicidal nature. Fuck. Oh my god. This uh that one that one was uh This was the either second or first most difficult one I've done. Maybe third. There was another one that was uh a pain in the butt.
Oh, something's loading. Nope. Yeah. Elevator. Oh. I've only seen two elevators in this game and both of them crashed and James, almost killed me. Calm yourself, James. Just grab a lamp and create a safe zone for everyone at the outpost. Oh, James, listen. We have hours before the shadows reach the nearest city. What? I don't care that it's a solution. Why would you even suggest that? You disappoint me, James. Good. This will all be over soon. The journalist is almost... Wait, why is this on? James, I'll call you back. Journalist, what you just heard... Remember who I am, and what I've sacrificed. Light matter cost me my leg, my friend, and my reputation. But that is nothing. I am willing to sign my checks in blood for light matter. I am a man of obsessions. Do not make yourself one of them. Okay, almost back to where I started. Is this going to be the end of the game? the shutdown procedure. Now, pull the lever. Yes, this is where the game started. I was, like, uh, up there or something, wasn't I? I don't know, man. If I turn off the lights, uh... Only... I can only survive some shadows. Yeah, where was I earlier in the game? I was like... Yeah, I was somewhere in this room. Maybe a little bit up? I don't, I don't remember exactly. Excellent. It worked. <laughs> it's completely self-sustaining. Magnificent. Journalist, are you seeing this? Even without the mother sources, the core can power itself. Uh, let's see. Crystals, stable. Energy levels, stable, although slightly decreased. And um, the shadow anomalies have not subsided. However... Yes. Listen, we have exhausted all your options for exiting the facility. But since I now know what steps to take, I will fix the shadow anomalies. Now... Do not trust you around the core, so you're staying in that room. If you're hungry, well, the human body can survive 21 days without food. And as for water, I can turn on the sprinklers. Goodbye, journalist. Hey, screw you, Virgil. Sick of looking for a journalistic face anyway. 
Listen, if my control room bores you, then write an article about it. I have work to do. Okay. Uh, chat. Joe, no, we're not going to take his other leg. Uh, Babo, yeah, I might be Dante, I don't know. Um, Dalton, I'm not sure why you said it's always a Virgil. Or Virgil's always bad guys. And Joe, punch Virgil in the face, that is, we are going to do that. We are going to find him and punch him in the face. Can I get onto this railing? It's very important to me that I look and make sure that Lux isn't, no, Lux ended up with Virgil. Is that a doorstop? Is this a chunky doorstop? Everything's so chunky in here. This room is, uh, I'm dropping frames in this room. Ha! I just want to look for secrets, but there aren't any. There aren't any secrets to be had. Ha! Okay. This thing is so cool. God. What a crazy place to work. Excuse me. Alright, excuse me. Is this a window or can I fall? I think I can fall. Yeah, Joe, if I see Virgil, I'll give him a punch in the face for you, but I have a feeling he's uh, not ever going to really be visible. Full of. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Sorry, I didn't, I didn't notice that. Honestly, it's kind of shocking that I haven't had a sequence like this yet in this game. Shit! If you've been to my puzzle platforming streams, then you know that I'm pretty apt at dying by mistiming my jumps or not paying attention or both. Chunky power strip. Oh, a chunky power strip into a chunky power strip. You're not allowed to do that according to the fire marshal. There's another stowaway eating burgers, toilet paper, and water bottles. A Rolodex. Oh. Uh. Those do Shit! Yeah, Chunky Power Strip is great. It's my favorite character. Look, I refuse to start paying attention. What's one of those head massagers? They're powering their, like, regular devices with these, too? God, no wonder everyone got sick in here. Yeah, if a game has a Rubik's Cube, just like in real life, the vast majority of people who have Rubik's Cubes do not have them finished. What? what, what where, where am I? Ha! It's kind of interesting that simple plat... Simple platforming is just now part of the game.
Excuse Hello? Oh. Well, that's cool. I wonder what this device is for. It's like a UFO maker or something. Can I go down there? No. Can I... Ha! Man, I want cupcakes so bad now. There's cupcakes all over the place in this game. Wear your wig and take your pills. You'll be a happy employee. Ooh. Virgil's not gonna like this. Oh, there's somebody's wig. The contractors who built this place, how much they got paid. I mean, this guy must have been wealthy to begin with, right, Virgil? I mean, you don't just, like, you know, if a normal person discovers a, a pseudo-magic crystal in a mountain, they don't, they don't have the money to do something with it. They sell it to somebody for pennies on the dollar, and then that other group gets rich. But this guy was able to, like, set up all this crap, so, I don't know, maybe he already had an energy facility, and he just, like, happened to also find a crystal... Yeah, or he promised them payment upon completion, and now they're dead. Okay, what are we doing here? Opening a door. Oh. Which cannot be good. It's extremely bright in here, which is good for me because, uh, the darkness kills me, except for that one part of darkness that didn't. Hello? Hello? You're breaking up. Nope, 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 nope. Not cool, Virgil. You're not a journalist. Tell me, what were you doing before I first spotted you? Stealing photon crystals? Stealing data from our servers? I know what you are. Spy! Oh, oh. Uh, uh oh, oh. Okay, we're going this way. Tissues and lemons, normal. Brighter than my future. 
<clears throat> well, Joe, it's extremely bright, so that doesn't mean that your future can't be bright. It just won't be as bright as, uh, you know, whatever's going on there. Whoa! Sorry, I panicked and just, I just took a leap. Okay, going around this way. I didn't, uh... Uh-huh. Yep, up, oop, yep, pop. Click. Okay, but can I go back the way I came? Probably not. That's a trap. Hello? Oh, shit. Sorry, I, I, I panicked because the door opened. I didn't know what that was. Hello? Oh, I see. I gotta, like, jump in here. Okay. Can I go up here? I came from here. Literally full circle. Uh-oh. Boxes. Shit! Tricky. What was I supposed to do? Oh, man. I, I bungled it. I bungled it. I want to see the end of this game. I keep bungling. I gotta say, this extremely simple platforming is like the third hardest puzzle I've done in this game. Chunky power strip into chunky power strip. Who cares if the shadows destroy a couple of cities? Without light matter, we won't just lose cities, we'll lose our future. Why are you still yelling? Feels like that's not necessary at this point. You don't even know if I'm alive. Ugh. Oh, chunky power strips. Oh. Ah. Uh, I don't know if I want to hit this last switch. Click. Oh, oh, I can't leave this room now. I really gotta pay attention. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, here. Uh, 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 huh. Rude. Dear. God, it's bright in here. Where's Virgil? Where was he earlier? He was up on a balcony somewhere. Not so fast. Oh, well. Uh, you're looking at the puzzle platformer parkour expert here. Ha! I gotta say, this is like the most fear I've felt so far in this game, is knowing that James is loosed in the facility with me. Oh no, James is like a huge guy with like crystals in his head. I don't trust that guy at all. And apparently they murdered Arthur. Oh, it's a spooky dark room. I, that, I don't want to go down there. Look at that. 
That's horrible. Okay. Please. Oh my god, what is this? Am I even awake? Ah! Good. Oh shit, the light. Well, that's cool. He will step on you. He will whip you. I'm really enjoying this part of the game. Especially after I like burnt my brain out doing this game for two days and um I'm kinda I'm kinda glad for the, the puzzle break. Even though they were great. Oh yeah, the I know, right? The voice actor for this uh game is great. That's part of the reason it feels so um portally, you know, if this had been you know, if they hadn't had good voice talent. This just what What? Yeah, James just like comes to get me and he's just like, I'm gonna get blah, blah, blah. he just disappears. Like, oh Uh, oh, okay. This is a little trickier than it initially appears. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Huh. In Portal, you had those, um, leg, uh, what do you call those things? Those metal legs that, that, um, allow you to, like, run really fast or can help people that, um, are missing, like, a feet or part of their leg to, like, move quickly. Um, you had those to, like, kind of kind of allow for the illusion that you could fall great distances but in this one I'm just like and I'm fine uh oh now no um no thanks uh oh uh James. Jesus Christ, did you see that? Watch this vermin get devoured by the shadows. Past control. Applications for light matter truly are. James, what are you doing? No, James, don't. James! You traitor! I thought you were better than this. Better than Arthur. Better than all. Oh, leg's broken again. Oh, Arthur's alive? Look how slow I am since my legs are broken. Uh, yeah, that wasn't a man, James Smash! <laughs> the it looked like a golem! My god! This is. I'm gonna die in here, aren't I? My eyes! Oh. Oh. Um. Light matter is ruined. I do not have the resources to set up another operation. Last year, 200,000 died from floods, 2.5 million died from pollution, 3.4 from starvation. Yes, I was reckless, 
but I was reckless for them. Every shortcut I took, every moral I compromised, was for their benefit. Yes, light matter had issues. But now I'll never know if I could have solved it. I was never given a chance to see if I could have solved it. Their deaths are on you. So... Oh, is that the prototype? Look at that! That's cool! Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh. Oh! sophisticated oh my god they're setting up little scenes with with Lego so they can figure out the light that's how they did the puzzles what's that cube that's not in the game community cats Virgil somebody's cat's name is Virgil Oh my god, they're playing with Lego to figure out the puzzles. So that's how they did that. That makes a lot of sense. That probably makes it a lot easier to to figure out these puzzles. Some of these Oh, I remember that puzzle. That was a good one. Yeah, that one. That one was awesome. You think Virgil's the guy from Hitman? The <laughs> Maybe you mean James. Oh, you mean like the voice. The voice actor. Yeah, the random photo of them underwater. Team building. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, that game took me four and a half hours. So, yeah. Very good game. Very good. And a few of those puzzles were absolutely brain melting. What's in the extras? Speed run stats. Developer commentary. Oh, I could replay it with the developer commentary on. That'd be interesting. So here's all the levels. Yeah, so here's why I like... So I never found out who I was. Um, but I guess it doesn't matter. The point is that this person... Is that this person wanted to sacrifice... Babo, stop... Showing people clips of me acting like or being a cat or whatever. Stop it. The point of this game is that this person had discovered this amazing technology, but in order to use it, it made other people's lives in danger or sacrifice people or whatever. So I don't know if it's supposed to be like... Um, oh god, that puzzle was hard. I don't know if they wanted it to be... Something that makes you think, or if it was just, like, a really cool idea, but really neat. 
Yeah, some of these puzzles were just insanely challenging. This is this one right here is the one from the credits where they had the Lego in like a plus shape with a box around it because there were lights in different rooms. You had to spin the thing and then you had to like put the lights on the edges and spin them around to get them where you wanted. But you also had to make sure they were always pointing away that you wouldn't die to the shadows. It was pretty challenging. And then let's see if I can remember what that other really hard one was. Where's the one that had that central room? I don't remember where it was. This one. This one, I think, may have been one of the ones I spent the longest on. Oh my god, that one was hard. There were three lamps, and you had to manipulate the center thing, which would move and change where the bridges were. But the lamps had to open the doors. And obviously, you also have to always have a path so you can survive. Thank you, everybody, for joining. And, uh, gosh, I'm glad I bought this game. You should go out and buy this game and play it and be stumped. So thanks again, and I'll see everybody later. Bye.